boxing for places. They may have to all go to Lanigo next week to qualify for next year, but who gets to the bend first here? Coming around on the inside is Thomas Golob in red. He holds off Tommy Knudsen in blue. Coming through quickly in white is Craig Boyce. Craig Boyce in second place. Coming through in front with a lap to go, but Boyce makes it on the inside. There's going to be a battle here on the bend as he takes Golob wide. Golob comes back again on the inside, and down they go! Craig Boyce is another victim of the ball of Golub efforts on this Grand Prix series. Thomas Golub has brought down just about every rider in the field so far in this series. And we'll have to see what happens. Look at Craig Boyce. He's wondering what happened there. The very last Grand Prix race of this year that he was competing in. He has to go and take Greg, Craig Boyce off the bike completely. Oh, look at this. Well, Craig. Prince Hamid in Cardiff will have nothing on Craig Boyce. Craig Boyce is surely the cruiserweight champion of Australia. He has laid out Thomas Golob, and I think we said two or three Grand Prix races ago, we said that somebody sooner or later would land one on Thomas Golob. And that was the best right hook they've seen in East London. Look at Thomas Golob down there, and they're counting. Here comes Thomas Golob's brother's come over the rails. Thomas Golob's brother is there. Thomas Golob's brother has come to his rescue on the track. Tim Swales, the BSPA chairman, is out there. It's all happening. The action down on the track, right in front of us at the starting tapes. As a stretcher is sent for for Thomas Golob. Thomas Golob is down. So many people have probably been wanting to do that. There goes Craig Boyce. Craig right. Boyce walks off the 27-year-old Australian, has produced the right hook of the century here at Hackney Stadium to flatten Thomas Golob. Thomas Golob, and we can see it again, the action, thick and fast. There goes the right hand. Thomas Golob is there. He's watching. He's surprised. There goes the right hook. A marvellous punch from Craig Boyce. Who said we hadn't got the fight of the night here on Sky Sports 2 as Craig Boyce dumps Thomas Golub on the track? What a punch that was. Never have I seen such a punch in Speedway. I wonder whether Bruce Pennell, Barry Briggs and all in their days as world champions. Well, Craig Boyce, what have you got to say about that, boys? <laughs> Absolutely incredible, Tony Millard. I've got to say, brilliant commentary. Barry Briggs, they didn't do that in your day. They did in Bruce's. <laughs> what do you make of it, Barry? I think he punched for about another eight riders. <laughs> another eight riders was this boy said. He did well because, I mean, so he had his helmet on, so he didn't have to get through the yeah, small aperture. window, and it was a yeah, real good a hit. great right hook, actually. <laughs> You know, it, he should be on the other the other the other channel right now, right? There a fight night on going. Yeah, for sure. sure. Prince Nazim would have been proud of that one. That's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's it's not really what you want for no. your sport, but it's Thomas, been brewing Thomas all year. Is, I mean, so somebody could have been seriously hurt. There's so um, much at stake right now, and the pressures are so high. And you know, when when a guy gets collected into the fence like that, I mean, his emotions are extremely high, and I've I've been through this situation. I know. Well, for sure you have, but I wasn't going to come to that just yet. But uh, Thomas Gollub, really, that's been brewing all season, hasn't it? Look, we're on the phone now. This should be very interesting indeed. Let's see if we can hear what's happening now. That's not fair. What? Gollub, he just knocked me straight off. He excluded Gollub. He excluded Gollub, but it's an off-track incident, so it's got nothing to do with. Gollum. Yeah, but he knocked me straight off. He straight, he just clean knocked me straight off. That's why he's been excluded. Under what rule? Well, that's one in the eye for Thomas Golub. Can you state the rule? Can you exclude for writing, not for something like that? <laughs> no problem. He's, he's got to let Boyce back, doesn't he? Well, certainly there's a major problem down there. I feel he's got to let him back. He's out. I think he's been uh, excluded for an off-track incident, basically. Have you been thrown out? I don't think he's Yeah, I'm out that. of the meeting, you know. He just said, you know from what I've done, but mate, Thomas has come under me and blatantly knocked me off, you know, he's been doing it the whole the whole series, and you know, I haven't had a very good meeting tonight, and I get in front, and, and, and the pole knocks me off once again. Mate, again? Well, not me again, personally, but he's been knocking everybody off, and maybe I shouldn't have done what I've done, but you know, like now the referee just said I'm gonna cop a heavy fine and exclude it from the meeting, so. So a disaster there. Well, what can we say about that? The right decision, Barry Briggs? No, I think they, sh they should have let him take his place in the rerun and then afterwards disqualify him or do something. He's at the race meeting and 
I think it was in the heat of the moment. And Thomas has hooked a lot of people off. Bruce Powell, do you think that the referee should have deliberated a little bit longer over that? It was, after all, bringing the sport into disrepute. You, you know, I, a rule's a rule, and, and we're trying to portray a very professional sport, and, and the emotions run extremely high here. Uh, you know, I've been in the same situation. It's a good thing they both had their helmets left on, actually. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a tough call. I mean... Uh, you know, we don't want to see this sort of thing happen in, in, in Speedway, but it did happen. And, I don't know, the, the referee has to make a decision. The crowd is the one that suffers, but... OK, well, let's take another look, if we can, at the crash, because that's the thing that caused it all in the first place. Bruce Pennell, talk us through this. I mean, it was a gollum type incident, well, you wasn't You see, it? Thomas, I mean, he did get past. I mean, he, he, he did get past, and he's coming underneath. He's a little bit desperate right now. And you can see that he's really straightened up. And when the front wheel comes up is after he actually hits him. And you never know. I mean, there was a little bit of grip out there. I mean, who knows if it was intentional? You could ask him, and he, he possibly say, well, it wasn't intentional, but he was the cause of the restart, you know, so he should have been excluded. Okay. Now, the fight is a different story. Thanks, Bruce. Well, fight night here at the Hackney Stadium, we have to say.